Welcome to 2023. So far, the weather really sucks. <laughs> hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a good Christmas and you're looking forward to this new year. Now I just want to do a quick video a quick workshop vlog just wish you guys a happy new year let you guys know what's going on with the channel give you a few updates and some plans that i have coming in the future as well so like i said happy new year hope you had a good christmas let's just get into it okay let's start with a few channel updates now it's blowing a storm so there might be a bit of wind and rain noise in this video which you'll have to forgive that i can't do a whole lot about the weather and it's been pretty pathetic so far so the channel recently or about four weeks ago passed five million views which is something i guess that's a bit of a milestone a total of five million views now i know some people get five million views per video so we keep everything in perspective i've nearly 300 videos made at this stage and i've just passed 70,000 subscribers which is absolutely fantastic it's not too bad for a guy in his garage down the back of his uh, back garden making videos about his hobby so yeah not too bad i suppose oh, all these things uh you know you can keep them in perspective but the channel is growing and it's doing pretty well which is absolutely fantastic now i haven't been able to put out nearly as much content as i would have liked over the last few months um i barely got a video a month out and there's a number of reasons for that first one being is that i've been so busy in work in my day job that I'm struggling to find any time to make any content for YouTube. Another reason is the weather has been so bad over the last two months. It's constant wind, constant rain, which makes filming a bit of a pain. I have a kind of an idea for a solution for that, which I'll share with you guys uh, later on in this video and get your opinion on it. And as well as that, the third reason, um, I've just kind of run out of ideas. I've hit a kind of creative dead end over the last few months. Um, I've been a bit flat. I've kind of lost my mojo. I'm not sure what it is. I've been standing in this workshop trying to think of things to do and uh, just coming up with nothing. The enthusiasm for making stuff has kind of left me over the last few months. I didn't want to really make any videos if I didn't really feel enthusiastic about the videos. Um, obviously that would not come across very well on camera. So yeah, I've just been a bit flat. I'm not sure what it is. Just kind of ran out of some creative ideas. Normally when I'm really busy in work, I have a head full of ideas. I can't wait to get home, turn on the camera, get on the workshop and make something. But over the last couple of months, I've really been struggling to just find the enthusiasm for it. So hopefully in the new year, I can refresh and uh, get some ideas. I have some ideas for the workshop, which I'll share with you guys. But like I said, I've over 300 videos nearly made at this stage and it's hard to keep coming up with new ideas. Almost everything you guys will have seen me make in this workshop is stuff that I've needed for either the garden or for my own house. So this, this is literally just my workshop down the back of my garden and I'm just sharing what I'm actually making for myself. But uh, there's only so, much, so many things I can actually make for myself and there hasn't been much necessity over the last few months, especially with the weather being so bad, I haven't done anything in the garden either. So yeah, just kind of creatively hit a kind of a roadblock Hopefully, we'll get the creative juices flowing into 2023 and I can come up with some ideas. But uh, I have some things that I want to address in the workshop. Let me share that with you guys now and see what you think. It's impossible to film when you have uh, that kind of rain. That's pretty much Ireland for the last few months. So uh, yeah, a bit of wind noise. Now, I think the first thing I wanted to talk about was space in the workshop and kind of rejigging and relaying things out here. So I have a motorbike again, so that's taking up a good portion of the floor space here. So I'm kind of caught for a bit of space. So what I'm actually thinking of is getting rid of one of my workbenches and reducing it down to one workbench. So. And over the last few years, I said I wanted to rebuild a workbench. I think I'm actually going to try and do that this year, but I want to kind of amalgamate these two benches together. So both my hand tool woodworking bench and my MFT slash router table, I'm going to try and incorporate um, these into one workbench. So I'm going to build a hybrid bench. That's my plan. This is just an idea that I'm germinating at the minute. I'm just kind of running through some ideas in my head. I'm just spitballing here. I just want to share this with you guys, see what you guys think. So let me get you in for a little close up of these two benches. I'm gonna take a portion of one and add it to the other. I think that's gonna be my plan. So this kind of format, my MFT table is gonna be my main bench. And I'm gonna add a hand tool woodworking section to this bench and completely rebuild and redesign this. So let's have a quick look. 
Okay, so this is my MFT table. You guys will be very familiar with this. You've seen me at this all the time. So it has an MFT top, which I use in my track saw, which is absolutely great. It also has a router table built into it. It's a good and flat, so it makes an absolutely fantastic assembly table, and it's good and solid. I have actually done a couple of hand tool woodworking projects off camera on this, just to see how it all works out. And actually, you can hold a lot of material with using these dog holes as well. So I'm thinking about using this style bench for my main bench for doing everything. That means I can get rid of the bench behind me. I can move this bench back there and free up all this shop space, which I have another plan of reorganizing the shop as well, which will be needed. Um, and it's just the fact that I had the motorbike in here, that takes up a good bit of space now as well. So that has to stay in here. I've nowhere else to put it. So I got to start rethinking. And I can only use one bench at a time. So if I have one bench to do everything, that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, this is a one inch MDF top. It's not ideal for um, absorbing energy from say hammer blows and you're doing chisel work and that kind of thing. It's not really designed for that. It doesn't really transfer the impact down into the floor like say my hand tool bench would. So I'm thinking about cutting a section out of this and adding a hardwood laminated section here for doing hand tools. I'll have a tail voice and I might continue the dog holes then back through the hardwood section. So it'll be literally just this area for doing hand tool woodwork. It will still function as a router table, an MFT table, an assembly table, a table to do everything and rethink the kind of storage area underneath as well. Add more drawers, make it more functional and keep it on wheels. So completely redo this from the ground up. I think make the frame from Southern Yellow Pine, birch ploy for all the cabinets, have another one inch MDF top for the router table. Actually, I can reuse that router table. I can take that section out and put it into the new table. Redo the MFT top with a hardwood section. That's the kind of idea I have at the minute. I'm gonna draw up some plans for it and maybe try and build that this year and finally retire my two by four um, workbench. Now, the downside to it is it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be as, uh, say, pretty as a full-on hand tool woodworking bench. But uh, I think functional, functionality-wise, it would be better. It's going to save space and it's going to do everything I need. So that is my plan for the workbench coming up this year. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think it's a good idea, a bad idea? Would you do it? Would you like to see me try and attempt that project? And uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. Okay, right, so that's where I'm at with my workbench ideas at the minute. Um, I think it could be a good idea. It's gonna free up a lot of floor, floor space. I can still use my Moxham voices and everything with it. I could incorporate my um, kind of leg voice cam lock system into it as well. So again, I have no plans drawn up at the minute. This is all just germinating within my head. It's just an idea to free up floor space. I am a kind of a hybrid woodworker anyway. I really enjoy hand tool woodworking and I enjoy power tool woodworking. So a bench that does both and frees up some space could actually be a good idea. So that's where I'm at with that. Now, I'm thinking about reordering the layout of the workshop a little bit, and that will mean that one of these benches would have to go anyway. Um, so let me just run this idea by you. This is another big undertaking if I decide to do it. It could be costly, might be a good idea, might be a bad idea, but let's have a look. Okay, so this is my workshop. It's kind of hard to get it all in frame. It's roughly 30 by 20 or eight meters by six meters. And it's essentially just a steel shed. It's uninsulated and that's one of the problems that I have with it. It's freezing in here in the winter and it's extremely hot in here in the summer. And you can get humidity changes, temperature changes. That's not good when you're trying to work with wood. Also there's noise issues and stuff like that. So my neighbor's garden is literally just the other side of that wall. So I do make a lot of noise in here and I'm always cognizant of the fact that my neighbors are right there. I don't wanna make too much noise. So I'm thinking about building a workshop within this workshop. So studded partitions around all the walls, putting a studded partition across here. So essentially having this area where my motorbike is in, uh, let that be open, let that be part of the main garage, having a door somewhere around here. I'll try and get this in shot for you guys so you can see what I'm thinking about doing. So there'll be a studded partition go along here. I will be lowering the ceiling. So probably six by twos across the ceiling here, 
insulate that so I'd essentially have a workshop within my workshop. I could temperature control that then, it would be properly insulated. I could even maybe think about having some sort of humidity control in there as well. Uh, especially if I want to make some nicer pieces of furniture, I kind of shy away from doing kind of real fancy pieces because again, if wood can change, can move, can warp, and I can't kind of vary the temperature in this workshop. So if I wanted to make stuff like acoustic guitars and stuff like that, it would be much better for doing that kind of thing. So that's kind of my idea. So let me just kind of show you a bit more and explain it a little bit better. Okay, so most of you guys will be well aware of the layout of my workshop. This is the kind of pedestrian kind of door entrance. I have a double roller or a roller door here as well. So what I'm thinking about doing is along this uh, power line here is drop my stud off this. So having a, another door that I can enter into this area of the shop would be right here. Again, this um, table would be down there, that work table would there be gone. I could take my planer, I would have a wall along here, I can put my planer along this wall. It would actually have a lot more floor space in the middle with this gone as well. And this area in here, I could insulate, soundproof, and uh, it would solve a lot of problems. Now it's a big cost, it's a big undertaking. Is it a project that you guys would be interested in seeing me doing? Uh, it's something I'm thinking about. And then having this area out here as a garage area. So for my bike, I could put some garage tools in there from when I'm working on my cars and stuff. I do like to work on engines and things like that. So this could just be a small little area in which I could do that and uh, have a kind of an insulated area back here for doing my uh, woodworking. Okay, so what would that project entail? Well, it means building a stud wall against this wall around three sides. Obviously, I have a freestanding stud wall. They are closing off both sections of the shop. It would mean I would have to take everything off the walls, redo everything, um, take the electrics off. Well, that's not a big that's not a big deal. That's all modular anyway. So it's just a case of pull the sockets and the trunking off, and I can read that, redo that in the new room. So insulate the walls then. Slab, re slab everything. I'll probably just re slab everything with OSB sheets, both the ceiling and the walls, and just paint everything. Redo the lighting. Again, that's not a big deal. It's just a physical work of stripping out this entire workshop, building the studded walls. You know, it's a lot of work and it's a big cost too, but I think um, it could be beneficial when it comes to insulating and sound and all that stuff. I'm going to lose ceiling height, so I have to think about how I'm going to do the roof. When I do a hipped roof, I just come straight across there. Again, it's tall enough, just moving larger boards around in here might be a small bit of an issue, but uh, I can keep it just under the power lines. I can redo the dust extraction, so it means I can keep the dust extractor the far side of that uh, stud wall that I would build down there, so it would re reduce the noise of that too. And uh, yeah, I think it would really kind of, I could really benefit from it. Good idea, bad idea. Uh, let me know what you guys think. There are the kind of two main plans I have for this year. A lot of work. It, that would be kind of a build series, redoing the workshop. It might be interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hi right, guys, so there we go. That's the first video of the new year. It's a quick workshop vlog. Just let you guys know what's happening with the channel. Check in with everybody and wish you guys a happy new year. And uh, just give you some ideas of what's going on in my head regards the workshop and what I'm planning on doing. And uh, I suppose just run those ideas by you. You guys let me know in the comments. Uh, there's plenty of wisdom in the comments section. I've always noticed that these videos, good idea, bad idea. Do you think I should do it? Um, I'm going to go and try and design this workbench now and I'm going to cost up the materials for what it would take to put a studded partition around this workshop, insulate it and redo it. Um, maybe it might make a good build series as well. It might be something you guys would be interested in. I can kind of do a breakdown of all the different parts. I can redo the electrics. I didn't really film the electrics when I done it on this. So if you guys wanted to see me actually do the electrics for a workshop layout, that might make an interesting video as well. I could redo the dust extraction. So like I said, dust extractor would be outside the sort of partition. So it actually could make a good actual build series while I'm doing it. So that's it guys, I'm rambling now. Happy New Year. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Here's to 2023. Hopefully it's a good one. I'm going to get out of here now. First video of the new year. Uh, that's it, guys. I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy.